Okay, good day. Uh, this is a Revolution FX strategy speaking. Okay, uh, as you can see, uh, this uh, is our gold uh, gold trade. So yesterday, uh, we took uh, this trade uh, right here uh, with a buy because uh, the market was actually sitting on top of uh, this, uh, this zone here, which is actually a resistance which has become a uh, support okay let me start from the beginning so that you will understand why uh we took the buy and why i took the sell first of all as you can see uh this area right here is a key resistance zone okay so this is a key resistance zone here okay so as you can see uh this market came from this uh it was bullish came all the way here uh failed to breach this level came all the way down tried again at this time now it actually succeeded it breached retested and then it went all the way up and then from here it came again all the way down struggled but finally breached when it breached it failed now to establish a, um, a support so it went back in again so when it went back in uh into this zone it finally breached it it uh, retested it and then it established it now as a, a support meaning that uh the momentum now has to be bullish hence i gave the signal for a buy so the market went all the way up and then when it came to this area here uh, from here you can see that uh, the market started to make uh, a qm pattern okay so a qm pattern is a, a quasimodo so when you're drawing a quasimodo you do not uh, 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 put it from the top of the week like this you can actually put it from the body because mostly uh, an effective quasimodo you use a line chart to draw it okay so based on the line chart okay this will be resting on here because the line chart does not uh, recognize all these weeks okay it only recognizes uh, the body of the candles okay so now we've got this area here okay it has to sit perfectly okay so and then we've got another from here all the way to this area here okay so meaning that now when the market is coming from down here all the way up it has to actually breach and successfully breach this area here just like what it did here you see what it did here it has to breach it and establish a support so that it can gain momentum to uh continue uh being uh uh, bullish okay so this is the zone now that we have okay you can see from the previous uh videos that i had actually uh placed uh pending sell limit orders right here inside this zone because in this zone now this zone we call it a quasimodo a uh, sell zone here we expect the market to actually fall if it failed to actually breach this one as you can see it tried for the first time it tried the second time and still it did not win so meaning that now uh at half past the two as you can see now it's 18 past two at half past the two gold will actually fall because this is a sale setup okay so from here we expect the market now to uh, to fall all the way to uh, 1930 uh, with the momentum that we expect the market to fall with it has to fall all the way to this area right here 1938 okay so this is our sale setup so okay let me uh, i'm using this small account so i'm still holding also another uh, sale on a bigger account uh, almost a medium size account so this one is a small account so it's a uh, one thousand dollars i'm going to enter uh sell um uh, sell orders and then put a full margin 
Okay, let's see if it can check 0 0.05. Okay, so this is a cell here. Okay. Okay, so now it's not it's no longer checking. Uh, okay, let's put 0 0.01. Okay, not enough money. That's fine. So now what we do, because we expect this news, when the news comes, gold is going to be extremely volatile. So from here, I'm going to start putting a, a sell stop. Okay, so that's 1971.50. Okay, so now pending orders, sell stop, 1971.5. Then I go to another one, a 1971. So as that one, so okay. Then I've got a 1970.5. Okay. Then I go to 1970. Okay, as you can see, I'm I'm putting a a, a space in between so that. Uh, the market does not just uh, kick me out, okay? So I've got now 1969.5, uh, okay? Then I've got 1969, okay? So this is actually how you grow your small account, especially if there is uh, news coming you know that uh, the market is going to be extremely volatile. So what you do is you put these pending orders and then when the market drops, it's going to trigger them and then you uh, get more out of a, a, a small account. Okay. So um, I think I lost the, I think it's 1968. Okay. 1968. Now I'm going to 1960. 7.5 okay then i'm going to 1967 okay 196 okay 19 uh 66.5 and then i've got a 1966 1966 okay then I'm going to stop at 1965. Okay, so now this is 1965.5. Okay, and then lastly, I'm going to stop at 1965. Okay, so now as you can see, I've entered already the cell because the market has to fall all the way down. This is a, a, a cross mode uh, cell uh, pattern and it's going to fall uh, violently okay as you can see from the entries that i've taken we are already uh, in profit because the market is primed to fall there is no way it's going to be a, a, a buy when the news comes because this is a strong uh quasi mode sell a pattern okay so that's why i put i, I don't usually use a uh, pending orders but now i've got too much confidence of knowing that this market is gonna be extremely volatile when it passes through this area so it's gonna be profit all the way okay so i'm going to pause or stop this video and then i'll record when we are about uh, to uh, start with a news okay so as you can see so rate in profit while whilst i was placing the uh, pending orders the market went into profit okay